Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Summon Knight Swordcraft Story. We last left off, we were we just got the key to this place to go lower in the tunnel or the labyrinth tunnel. Um and we're looking for those parts, I forget what they're called, core parts. And we're gonna we're gonna look for those today. Oops, I went the wrong way already. Great start. Great start. Oops. Oh jerk. There. Yay! These enemies are getting pretty easy, but um, even a floor or two, they'll start start getting some, encountering some new enemies, which are obviously going to be a bit more difficult. Oops! Oh, jeez! Sometimes I jump without intending to, because apparently I'm terrible with an analog stick. Jump. Ow. Whoa, my weapon's almost broken. What's going on here? I don't know what I was doing. Oops. Right, let's go. Shoot. Alright. Come on, Void Axe. Oh, man. Great start. One, two, three. Ah! Good. I'll get Mr. Gore from that. And you know what? I should probably use this. Even though I don't. Didn't take a lot of damage. It's always a good idea to use it whenever you can. I think. Whoosh. Man, I have no idea where I'm going. See, yeah, this is the only weapon I have equipped. Ouch! These guys are. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about that. I haven't been talking. Um, that's the whole point of a let's play. Can change the title to "Let's Watch Crane Grapish Get His Butt Whooped at uh, Summon Night Swordcraft Story." Um. Ah, oh, here's a new enemy. These guys. Ooh, shoot! I I think if I remember correctly, you get a quite a bit of bonus uh, if you beat these guys without getting hit. But I've already gotten hit like 30 times, so. Shoot! See, look at that. We even get bonus XP. Jeez, that's a lot of bonus XP for all the damage I took. Um, yeah, here we go. I, w I wish, like, every time you went into a new floor... Ooh, lag. It, um... Like, told you up in the corner, like, what floor you're on. Alright, let's get past that lag there. I don't know what was going on. Ah! Oh shoot! I still need to switch my weapon to like a. I guess the sharp dagger is the best I have now. All my other stuff requires uh, core parts. Arr! I did it! All right. I think we actually got a. Nope. I'm probably thinking of the wrong floor. Wasting your guys' times. These enemies are nice because you can tell when they're going to attack because of the the purple glowy light goes away, which is good. Oh, I was going to say, um, in the last episode, I think, I was talking about two games I bought and I couldn't think of the second one. I was talking about Wild Arms and um, another game. That other game is uh, Front Mission 3, is what it was. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't think of that. Then, um, I was I was thinking before I was recording this. I was like, okay, I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna gotta remember to say that it was uh, Front Mission Three. And then I'm like, but what was the other game? And I couldn't remember Wild Arms for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a forgetful person. Ah. These guys are kind of annoying.
Ouch. Kill it, kill it! Ow. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, just just needs three more damage, and you can't even do that. Jeez. Good Dr. Rod. Getting close to another level up. Um, I think we actually have to get all the way to floor 20. Oh, this guy again. Let's see if we can beat him without getting my butt whooped. Whoops. That wasn't as bad as last time, I think. Look at that. Level up. Two, actually. Um, sugar leveled up, too. Ability points. Uh, we're going to go into defense, because I really do need it, because I get hit way too often. Because I'm bad at this game. I don't think I went through this door in my practice files. Oh, you jerks! I was lucky there. Ooh, shoot. These guys are mean. Can't wait until I get my lightning. Well, uh, Sugar gets her lightning abilities. Definitely gonna trade the water attack for that. Because it's a lot easier to hit people with. Um, The water one might do more damage. I'm not sure, but... I like the lightning one. Dang, I'm having trouble dashing. Man, I'm so fail at this game. If I could figure out how to use a D-pad, it'd probably <clears throat> be a little bit easier. But, I can't. As far as I know, there's no way. It's just not possible. I think you can go either way on this level. Some heels in. Thank you, sugar. Ah, dang it. Shoot, stop it. Can't move. Can't move. This game's cheating. This game's unfair. I don't like it. I'm gonna quit playing this. All right, now I'm just being stupid. Well. I've been being stupid, but now even more so. It's hard to believe, really. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, if I had a better way to keep track of time, I could uh, try to cut these battles out, but... Perhaps it's fun watching me get my butt kicked. Right. Here's a save point. Might as well use that. I don't know when the last time I saved was. Level 7. That's not entirely true because of the way save states work. It kind of messes up save stuff. But And I've been using lots of save... <laughs> yeah, see, look at that. I've been using lots of save states. Awesome! Let's see what level we're on. We are on level 18. Alright, I am going to uh, pause it here and go heal real quick, so I'll see you guys in level. And I'm back. Went to go heal. Equipped some more weapons. That way, if for some reason one breaks in battle, I'm not. Ooh, shoot. I'm not completely fracked. And uh, I also checked my Facebook. <laughs> so, I got all the important stuff done. Right. If anybody was wondering, um, oh, there's a heal spot right here. Great, fantastic. I got a Cafeville request, and so yeah, that's pretty exciting. I get about a million of those every day, but oh well.
Ooh, green pumpkins. Must not be ripe yet. I gotta get out of here. Ah. Oh, shoot. Eat ladle. Oh, this is a powerful ladle. Ah. Rawr, soup's on, biatch. Haha. <laughs> oh, gotta go. Come on, go down the stairs, Clever. Go down the stairs. The ultimate weapon, the ladle. I don't know why I blocked against that. Super ladle attack! Oh no, the ladle's about to break. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Poor ladle. Sugar learned quick move. Oops. While agility wouldn't be a completely bad idea, I don't think I want it. Uh, support. Hmm. I think this is a bit more important than that, but... Oh no! You are a jerk. <sighs> hmm. All right. I don't know what to talk about in this episode. I guess I could talk about my favorite subject, me. Haha. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's some core parts. Um. This is all we need, technically, but there's actually more that we can get. I I'm acting like it's a big secret or something that <laughs> you can get. There's more stuff here, but um, as you might have uh, noticed, this is actually a dead end. Um, this path in the labyrinth comes here, and it stops. This is floor 19, I think. And it all stops here. No, we can't go no further. There's no locked door here either that you have to unlock. Um, there's actually the door that we had the key to. There's a second path on that. Fl f there's a second path on the floor that had the door with the key. I'm gonna write a song. Um, and that take that'll take us down further. So, spoilers. Sorry. Um. Ha! Right. Good times. Anyways, this is <laughs> this is actually like uh, technically like. Let's see here. The sixth or sixth episode I've recorded today. I've been in a recording frenzy. Ah. I've just, uh, after getting better, I've just been feeling like recording this, like... Oh my goodness! Man, these slimes, I'm telling you. Which I'm not telling you anything, because I'm just saying these slimes. <laughs> They're annoying is what I was... I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you about that. They are annoying. Beast shoes. Um... A lot of the items that you find kind of suck, really. They're just, just like, plus one to this. Um, and here's some more items. Conductor rod. Cooling fan. And a blue fast. I think it's the conductor rod gives you the core parts as well. So, uh... I figure I won't let you have you watch me walk all the way to the teleporter, so I will meet you back. Actually, you know what? That's it for this episode. Um... I will see you guys next time, so...
Adios, as they say, I think.